Hey, good evening to you. Auburn picks up a commitment from one of the top players in Alabama on Tuesday, adding four star running back TJ Yeldon of Daphne to the commitment list for the 2012 signing class. Rival says he's the number five running back in the country. 247 Sports says he's the number two all purpose back in the nation. Scout says he's the number one running back in Alabama. He's six foot two, 191 pounds, who also had offers from Alabama, Clemson, Florida, Georgia, Florida State, and Oregon, among others. According to AuburnUndercover.com, he rushed for 1,112 yards and 18 touchdowns and had 34 catches for 504 yards and five touchdowns to lead Daphne to the Class 6A championship. He's Auburn's ninth commitment for 2012. Well, former Alabama guard Scenario Hillman has been invited by the Utah Jazz to a pre-draft workout Wednesday in Salt Lake City. The Jazz holds the third and 12th overall selections in the first round of the 2011 NBA draft, which will take place on June 23rd. Hillman set a school record with 176 steals in his four-year career at Alabama. He helped the Crimson Tide win the SEC Western Division Championship last year, which ended with a loss to Wichita State in the NIT Championship game. Alabama State opened the doors of the Akadome for the 12th annual Freda Freeman Jackson Summer Basketball Camp. Girls from all over the country are drilled on the fundamentals of the game by the ASU head coach and her staff. Each year, the participation continues to grow. Getting back to Hoops 101, though, is the only way to get these young ladies into championship form. I spent a lot of time on fundamentals. It's so important for these kids to uh, uh, not go at the ball with one hand, go at the ball with uh, two hands, and you be redundant, but it's something that you have to emphasize over and over. Well, change is on the way at AUM as the Senators will be no more. According to reports, AUM will be dropping the nickname Senators. Athletic officials have voted from a pool of three choices and will make the announcement this fall when students return to campus. The change is an attempt to better promote and market its athletic program. Well, it's the time to dust off the pigskin for the summer as the Trinity Wildcats host their annual 7-on-7 seven -seven camp. Four teams, including St. James, Charles Henderson, and Marbury, are all in action with the host Wildcats. The varsity teams participated in drills this afternoon. Next week, it's the JV and middle schools that will uh, get a crack at it. It's the unofficial start of the workouts, and while the start of the season is still months away, bragging rights are always on the line. I know a lot of those St. James guys, and they're fun to compete against, and I mean, just having some fun, a little bit of trash talking, having a little fun out there. We've grown up with them, baseball, basketball, football. It's just great to, you know, get out here and compete and just win against your friends. Like you said, bragging rights is always good. And of course, no bragging rights for us, but nonetheless, those guys are out there getting an opportunity to really get acclimated to the heat. You can't uh, take that for granted. Anytime you start football practice, your body has to kind of warm up to the temperatures. And well, they've got plenty of time to uh, get it going before the start of real practices start up in August. Yeah, no doubt. Hopefully they're drinking a lot of water outside. So. All right, thanks, Dee. And Ashley, we'll be back with your weekend forecast.